In today's lesson, we'll delve into the core concepts of micro-partitioning and data clustering in Snowflake. These techniques are pivotal in optimizing your data storage and query performance. In Snowflake, your tables are divided into micro-partitions. Micro-partitioning involves breaking down vast datasets into small manageable chunks that Snowflake automatically manages. Alongside partitioning, Snowflake also performs data clustering, a technique that co-locates related records within a table. Let's first understand how micropartitions in Snowflake work. Snowflake's micropartitioning is an automated process managed by Snowflake that divides your data into small chunks, typically ranging from 50 to 500 megabytes of uncompressed data per micropartition. These micropartitions efficiently organize data into columnar structures. Even for very large tables, Snowflake seamlessly manages thousands or even millions of these micropartitions. To enhance query performance, Snowflake stores metadata for each micropartition, including column value ranges and distinct value counts, facilitating query optimization. This metadata is crucial for parallelizing queries and skipping unnecessary micropartitions during query execution, ultimately improving efficiency. Micropartitions in Snowflake offer several advantages. First, they require no manual intervention, Snowflake handles the process automatically. Additionally, their small size enables efficient query pruning, reducing unnecessary scans of partitions that do not contain relevant records. The columnar storage within micropartitions enhances query efficiency by scanning only the columns referenced in your queries. Lastly, data is stored in an efficient, compressed format optimizing storage capacity. In addition to micropartitions, Snowflake also supports automated clustering of your data. Data clustering is essential for optimizing query performance. Tables are typically sorted or ordered along specific dimensions, like date or geographic regions. Snowflake automatically collects clustering metadata as data is loaded into a table, and this information is used to avoid unnecessary scanning of micropartitions during queries. This efficient clustering significantly enhances query speed, especially on large tables. In Snowflake, tables are partitioned by default but not clustered. To enable clustering, you must specify a clustering key for a table. Clustering ensures that records with the same clustering key value are stored together. This information is used to enhance query performance by avoiding unnecessary micropartition scans, particularly when queries involve filtering or range operations using the clustering key. Snowflake maintains metadata for clustered tables, including the total number of micropartitions and tracking the micropartitions with overlapping values in clustering keys. Overlapping values of clustering keys in different micropartitions are measured by clustering depth, which indicates how well the table is clustered for specified columns. The smaller the average depth, the better clustered the table is with regards to the specified columns. Clustering depth serves various purposes, such as monitoring the clustering quality of large tables, especially with ongoing data changes. Assessing whether a large table should have a clustering key explicitly defined. An empty table has a clustering depth of zero, as it lacks micropartitions. Understanding clustering depth helps optimize table performance and query efficiency in Snowflake. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. And if you haven't already, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. This way, you won't miss any of our future updates.